Hello everyone, my name is Rubber Ducky, Div and Derpin Game, and this is a demo of my new system map. Now, there is a, this is really a version 2, it's a newer version of the old one I did a few months ago, uh, some new bells and whistles, but let's go ahead and start with just a high overview, we'll start working down to the nitty gritty features. So again, at its highest level, this is just a map of the system, it allows you to click on the planets and get various information about them. It's most importantly, the ore here and the tiers that it has. You can click around to different planets, get to different ores. Get a look here. So we can go here. Diego. Ion. And get the ores available. You can also click into a planet here. So select Lack of Us get more information and now you can click on lack of us which you have a map of the entire system here including its moons so you can click on one of the moons and get the lack of us moon and the the ore it has exit out we'll x there so felly more information you can see the felly moon one you can select it get its ore information and I do have plans to add more stuff here for information, but this is, I got to a good stopping place for version 2, so I decided to quit here and I'll add more stuff in version 3 probably. Uh, exit out. Alright, so now we can also toggle off showing the player. So if you can see a little red dot here, that's me and my ship. It's accurate for where I am at the system, just kind of here between Mass and Alioth. Going to disable, enable. Disable, enable. We can also show the names of the planets and other things. So, show names, hide names, show names, hide names. We can also show the distance. This requires a point of reference. So, what that means is you have to have a planet selected, basically. So, I can click on Lackabus here and I get the distances from all the other points to Lackabus. Same with Alioth or Feli. Next out of here. You can also show the safe zone, and this is accurate for the safe zone. It's not just kind of a rough guess like my last version was. It's actually accurate now. Okay, hide the safe zone. We can show pipes. And what the pipes are in this case are the warpable locations for the selected planet. So if I click Lackabus, there's all the warpable places you can warp to from Lackabus. Same with Feli, Telemai, Ion. Of course, alley off. Exit out. All right. Now, for the next one, one of the big enhancements we got is actually the ability to rotate all of this. So let me just start rotating it here. These little controls down here allow you to basically move the map so you can get kind of the angle you want, get a better idea where things are in the system. The little center button here resets it all. This works for also if you show the distance, the safe zone, and the pipes. So we'll go ahead and click alley off for that. Rotate it around. Grab another planet here. Bam. Rotate it. Looking pretty spiffy. You can just kind of get rotated to get the angle you want. Uh, you can also, we'll go back to Lackabus, click on Lackabus or any other planets, go inside, and also rotate their inner systems here. small feature was actually in the last one as well but it tells time here there is a parameter on the board down there that allows you to adjust that uh, so that it falls into the time zone you want to by basically adding or subtracting hours till it, it lines up for your local time uh, go ahead, exit out of this there is a we'll get rid of all this extra junk here I like mine to be fairly clean usually 
a rotation mode where it just kind of slowly rotates by itself. Kind of spiffy, kind of nice. A, a great quote unquote wallpaper or idle screen. Go ahead and disable that. All right, we'll reset the screen. There we go. I'm gonna control nine real quick. All right, so next thing's first, we're gonna roll four engines here. As I roll the engines forward, you're going to see a little yellow line appear. This yellow line indicates uh, the amount of distance I will cover uh, in an hour and about where I'm going to end up at. So as my speed increases here, and again, I'm hiding the details here so you can see the screen better instead of all the, the junk I have in my, uh, my HUD. But this will hide, uh, or not hide, <laughs> this will just show uh, you the distance you'll cover at your current speed. So as we're increasing in speed, we'll cover more distance and the line's getting longer. Uh, and it also gives you an idea here. We can, we can rotate. So you can see roughly where you're gonna end up in about an hour's time, your trajectory and all that jazz. So not too shabby. Uh, another thing you can do is, if I tab here, while we speed up here some more. Oh, I need to exit out the seat. It's hard to do with the control nine. So let's disable that. There we go. If I go into the Lua channel, so it has to be the Lua channel, and I type in DSAT and paste in the coordinates for a, uh, For an asteroid, here. it pops it up on the screen here, so I know where an asteroid is at, and I can also, you know, as everything else, rotate it, get a better idea of where in the system it's going to be at, how I need to attack it, maybe what's a, a good way to get at it, basically. You know, just basically putting more information in your hands. If you don't want the DSAT anymore, you just go back to the Lua channel and do DSAT clear gets rid of it all right and the one last feature to show is warping oh, control nine oh actually i need to set warp for first so let's go uh yeah we just gotta alley off all right move Move one, set warp. Control nine, all J. Passengers immobilization starting. And we'll start the warp process here and it'll do its thing and warp sequence initiated. More or less it just gives you something pretty to look at while you're warping. It's it generally what I do. Takes a second to warp now, doesn't it? Sequence completed. Passengers released. Right. There you go. Uh, that covers most of the new features. Other than that, there was a bunch of under the hood things and prepping for future updates and stuff like that. And I rewrote a good portion of the, uh, say the engine. Uh, and it's actually more performative now as well. 
but mostly I think 90% of the work I've done over the last couple of weeks has been just rewriting the system app whenever I have time here so that it's uh, future proofed a little bit. And that's also why I didn't put out a video last week because I was incredibly pressed for time. And so I had to either choose to work on this or put out a video last week. So for those of you who were disappointed there was no video last week, I'll have another one coming here uh, next week. But I just wanted to get this project done and I uh, was incredibly pressed for time. So it was one or the other and I chose this. All right, uh, I'm going to sell these for basically five mil each. Uh, there is a caveat here. If enough people want just the screen and don't care about things like uh, the player's position and just want like a static version of the solar system, you can basically move around and get information. That, if enough people want it, I'll make available free. I have to make a couple changes, but I would make it available free. But the uh, the ability to see your location in the solar system, in plot DSAT and stuff like that, that goes with the board uh, and that would for right now, charge five mil. And for those who are like, why don't I write it free? It's like, the more time I get to spend not trying to make money in the game is the more time I get to spend making Lua and also making the videos. So you can think of it as more long donations as the, <laughs> so I don't have to spend time doing other things to, to make money. All right. Thank you all. If you have questions, reach out to me in game on Discord. Uh, on Reddit, doesn't matter. Hope you enjoyed it. Holler if you have questions. Bye.